Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and it is that time of the month again. Well, it's actually way past because I've been sitting on this box for a while, but it's a uh, video games monthly for the month of August. Um, that at the time of recording this is over in four days, but here it is, the August box. So let's just go ahead, dive right in, and check out everything that's in this amazing box. And while I start to open this, I'm gonna tell you all about VGM. They are a monthly subscription service where you get to pick either three, four, five, or 10 games a month that come in your box. And they have a whole list that you can choose from for all your different consoles, things like that. Make sure you keep your list updated. I don't always do that, so I get sent duplicates, which kind of sucks sometimes, but it is what it is, and the folks over at VGM will always take care of you whenever you call and have any kind of issue. So we're gonna dive in and see what we got this month, shall we? Uh, we have a tattoo, nice. Video Games Monthly Tattoo, digging it. And I'm pretty sure that code right there, if you have ever played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, uh, that is the code to get to Mike Tyson. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, then we have the social media card for those that want to be able to win three free games. I mean, you post your unboxing on social media and you're entered in a chance to win a free three up box. So that's pretty cool. They don't have to do that and they do. Uh, now let's dive in. I have three GameCube games this time. Let's see what we got. We have Prince of Persia, Warrior Within and taking a look-see inside. Complete has the manual. How is the disc? A uh, little smudgy, but no deep scratches or anything. So that's awesome. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. And up first here, we have the Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. Now, this is one that I hadn't actually played before. I had played Two Thrones, but I mean, this one, it starts off strong and it's actually a lot of fun. The graphics look amazing. It controls really well. And overall, I just had a great time with this. I mean, this is, this is a solid game. If you like Prince of Persia and you like the GameCube variations, then I would highly recommend that you check this game out. And next up on the list, we have Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. I've heard amazing things about this game. I've never actually played this one, so excited to have this. And it looks like the cover art has maybe not seen water damage, but just some moisture. Uh, it's a little wavy in there, and it could just be like the plastic is funky on it. Who knows? But let's take a look-see inside. Again, complete awesome. Let's take a look at the quality of the disc. Uh, that has had a disc cleaner on it, but um, at least there's no scratches, that's nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. And up next here we have Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. And honestly, just like the first one, just like the third one, this game is awesome. Graphically, it's great. Frame rates are amazing. The dogfights in this are just super intuitive. The ships are easy to fly. It's got that great story to go along with it. And it's just a fantastic game overall. I was very impressed with this. Now, before we get to the final game of today's box, I will say I am normally subscribed to the 4UP box, but because a lot of the things that I collect for, I'm getting down to like the bottom of the barrel for what's left to actually collect for those systems. I have worked it out with the folks over at VGM where sometimes they send me more games to give me my value. Sometimes they give me less games. This month, I only got three games, but as I can see from the little stickies they put on, these are higher value games. So that's awesome. Now this last game is X-Men Legends. This is the first one. I have the second one, but uh, yeah, X-Men Legends. Let's take a look at the inside real quick. Uh, it has a precautions booklet, no actual manual in this one. That's okay though. And then we have the disc. That is the best condition one, so that's nice. But yeah, we have this right here. It's got a little bit of a sticker goop on there, but I can easily get rid of that. But this is X-Men Legends on the GameCube. Let's take a look. And last up here, we have X-Men Legends, and this is the first one. Now, the second one I've played before, and it was a blast. And this one, honestly, I can see where the bones of the second one are. This one, in my opinion, it's not as good as the second one, but overall, I mean, the core gameplay is there. It's super fun, and you can see what the company started with and what they were able to develop into with X-Men Legends 2. This is still a great game and I would highly recommend picking it up. 
So again, a quick recap of the games that we got this month. We have Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. We have Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. And we have X-Men Legends 1. Now, again, like I said, sometimes I get less games, but they're higher like financial value to bring up the value of the box. Uh, and I will say, just not even just looking at the financial value, I think I got some great value in games. I love the GameCube Prince of Persia games. Uh, Warrior Within, I did not have, and I have not played this one. I played Two Thrones, but that was about uh, it as far as the GameCube era. Rogue Leader, uh, this one I've heard nothing but amazing things about, so I'm excited to really dive in on that one. And X-Men Legends, I've heard two is better, but I've also heard that this one is really good. And if we look at the stickies that are on here, the value that we got here, we got 13, we got 16, we got 19, which is 48. So 48 bucks, that means that I came out a tiny bit ahead on the cost of this month's box. So that's awesome. You always like to come out ahead. It's fine if it's even. Uh, sometimes I'll get more games and it'll be a little bit less than the actual financial value, but that's okay too because I get a lot of fun games. But yeah, if you liked today's video, uh, if you liked the games I picked out, let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please be sure to also hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I get a new video coming out. And if you wanna see another recent VGM unboxing video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.